Welcome to Kingdoms and Castles, a city building game where you can, for better or for worse, make life altering decisions for your citizens. Also called peasants. So, I'm letting ChatGPT, who we'll call Lexi, make all the decisions instead because that's too much thinking for one day. So, Lexi, where should I settle my kingdom? Hmm. Let's put it somewhere that's easily defendable and has easy access to stone so you can fortify your lands with sturdy walls later on. Oh, and somewhere with a bit of fertile land so the cannon f peasants don't die of starvation. I think this is like good enough right here. First thing we're gonna do is the forest everything. This is the best way to be one with nature. Now, you might be wondering how we keep the peasants happy, and we do that by giving them food, charcoal, and other uh, quote unquote necessities, such as religious buildings, bathhouses for personal hygiene, and other things you might want if you were a peasant in medieval times. Congratulations, Chaotic Burg is now a small village. Starting to get the hang of this governing thing, yes, we are. That's only because, because I am here. <laughs> sure, we can go with that. <laughs> There's been a dragon sighted. Okay, it's gonna go attack someone else. That's you know that is actually perfect. I will not be mad against. I will not be mad. I'm not mad at them. Yeah, there's been a fire. Everybody run! Yeah, build a well so that we can put out the fire that's currently <laughs> that's currently on fire. A few in-game years go by, and we've established a few relatively unreliable sources of food, stone, and wood. So now we kind of have to make a decision. We could try starting a military with smelly peasants, or we could enclose our island kingdom with three walls and pray that titans don't get in. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Or we surround our main building, the keep, with sturdy walls, preferably stone. Make a military. Can you stop interrupting? With the military, we can be more flexible and can respond to any threats on any side of our island, so it's definitely a good choice that I thought of first. Okay, well, because of Lexi's oh-so-wise input, I began working on the Chamber of War, which would unlock the military buildings for our kingdom, specifically the barracks, which would train unwilling, cowardly, and smelly peasants into only slightly stronger, but still smelly, unwilling, and cowardly soldiers. All right, we're gonna get our little iron mine set up. Yeah, Chamber of War, that's 50 coins, so we're almost there. Congratulations, Chaotic Burg is now a burgeoning town. 100 souls look to you for your leadership. And soon we'll have a military that we can use to conquer other nations. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> then we put down a Chamber of War, and now we can build military buildings. Oh, I have a road, buddy, why aren't you using it? <laughs> okay, he's not using it either, okay. And there's our barracks. Finally done. And all my peasants are saying, we want a church or library, like if I talk to my advisors. Sire, oh, no. So, uh, some foresters have so much. Fun. Nope. Did you see the drag? Okay, no. Nope. You know, none of them are talking about how bad it was or how my peasants want to be happy. But this one is. Our peasants want a church or library. Fine. I'll give you one. But first, we're getting a blacksmith. So we can. Uh. Kill anything that comes at us. Oh, no. It's coming straight for us. <laughs> Please don't do it. We're innocent. Okay, it's fine. We have archers in this tower. Go ahead. Keep. Shoot it down. Yeah, piss it off. Ooh, it's running. Better run. We have tons of archers. They're all missing. Yeah, yeah, go home. That's right. Ooh! Bye bye. Peasants recently killed by dragons. One. That is a stat I would like to keep. Actually, I would prefer that stat to be a little higher, because the more scared they are, the more willing they are to put more hard work in. Oh no, Vikings are invading. Nobody come here, please. We don't have anything. Shoot, someone's dying. Hold up. Oh, it's Vikings! Oh my gosh! Archer, shoot him down! Yay! Your Highness, people visited our kingdom but were scared off by the invading king of uh, Vikings. We didn't need them anyway. It would have only slowed us down. We're still- oh no. We're still under attack by Vikings. <laughs> Everyone run! They're attacking the fields and burning it, but it's just dirt, so I don't know how they're doing that. They must be really, really smart. Everyone run- no, they're stealing people! They have like two people. No, I'm sorry. They have three people. They have four people. I'm sorry, guys. I won't remember you. Your sacrifice will be in vain. I think we can build a swordsman squad. As no met what? You don't? Lies. We totally have weapons. All right, Josh. Now that we can basically build a military, I think it's about time we actually fortify our place. So let's put stone walls around the key buildings because I think it's kind of dumb to protect everyone again. The peasants are peasants, and we should keep royalty, royalty. So yes, build a wall around key buildings. And don't tell the peasants I said that. Oh, I won't tell them. Don't worry. I'm totally gonna tell them. Diplomat and row. Oh, shoot, they landed here right away, okay. 
Lexi, should we be nice or should we like just be douchebags to the surrounding kingdoms? I think we should be nice to them because if we're nice to the other kingdoms, we can foster trade. If there's trade, there's more money. And if we get more money, that means more soldiers. And more soldiers means we can kill the other kingdoms and take all their people. Yeah. Huh, okay. Help our two kingdoms can be friends. Uh, indeed, we should have much to talk about. I like that top option much more, but indeed, we should have much to talk about. Yes, we look forward to working with you. I come from a strong kingdom, and I like to be, I like to keep things pleasant. <laughs> so don't mess with us, and we won't mess with you. Agreed. Let's keep the peace. Good. Glad we're in agreement. That concludes our ruler's message. We thank your highness for your time. Farewell. Here's a scar across her face. King Archand. We have a message from our ruler. Ah, you're from a neighboring kingdom. A peaceful kingdom, we hope. Indeed, we should have much to talk about. Okay, we're using the same it's the same words and it's working on multiple people. We are great talkers. We have a message from our ruler, Queen Fetas. Queen Fetis, I remember you. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> ah, I was just looking up at the sky. So blue, so beautiful. I wish sometimes I could fly. Okay. <laughs> You're just going to come here to talk to us about a poem? I heard of a man who made wings out of vulture feathers. He attached one to each arm and jumped off the cliff of some heights. And they say he was able to glide a little, but his landing was rough and not without injury. I think he was missing a key in sight. What was that? Clearly, what could it have been? He had bird wings, but no bird tail. <laughs> okay, um, okay, surely a bird tail. <laughs> yes, that must be it. Perhaps we should track him down and send a message. Mm. You know what, Queen Fetas? You do exactly what you want to do. Lovely to share it with someone. Yes, flight is fascinating. Okay, goodbye, Queen Fetas. She's, I think she needs a bit, got something a bit wrong of her head, I think. So is this Swordman Squad done? It is not done yet. I have built walls faster than this Swordsman Squad has been built because we just don't have, we don't have enough extra people. Ah, Vikings are attacking. Where's the Swordsman Squad? They don't exist yet. Oh, dang it. <gasps> they just stole our money. No, take them down. No. No. Okay, they only have six. We killed most of them. Okay, perfect. I was going to say, they got away with a hundred? That's like all my money. I don't have that much money. We're a poor kingdom compared to... Actually, let's compare. I think you should compare. But like, let's go look at this one. Okay, they, they see, we seem to be doing just as good as them. They just take up a lot more space than us. Look at that. We, we, we like the cramped living quarters. Like, everybody gets a cubic foot of space to sleep, live, and use the bathroom in. Yeah. We're happy, though. Proud of our troops' valiant efforts. Um, they must be talking about the archers because we don't have any troops on the ground. Uh, glad Vikings were destroyed in the recent invasion. Yeah, we did great. See, guys, I can protect you guys. I am a great king. Thank you. Sire, four, of, four were kidnapped by a Viking raiding party. Well, they should have ran faster. Okay, look at that. We have the soldiers coming in. We're going to see them, like, swipe their swords. Be like, ha, ha, ha. No, they're just getting geared up. At least they have helmets. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Okay. Okay, the outer wall is almost done. Or the inner wall. We're gonna have a nice orchard. The military buildings will be in here. The mining buildings will be in here. Where will the people live, you'll say? Well, they'll live outside in the <laughs> high quality apartment building we built. <laughs> uh, suckers. The Vikings caused some damage during the last raid. We know they'll be back. You sent some troops to help. We don't have many troops, and by that, I mean we have like 16. I think it's 16 and 1, 2, 3, 4, by 1, 2, 3, maybe, 5, maybe 17, including the guy in the middle. Uh, but yeah, I, I can lie to you. Sure. We will help you fight the Vikings. I think it's time we get some trade in here as well. I just realized I have not been doing that. Vikings invading. Oh no. Good thing we have a military. They're actually out there fighting wolves. Um, are we winning? I think we're winning. Did we lose a few men? I think we did. We're at 118 health. Charge! Get a man. Oh look, we're even taller than them. And we fight in formation. Shield wall! Shield wall! Oh, we lost a lot of guys there. Oh, it's gonna come down one to one. Oh my gosh, he killed a lot of our guys. Ooh. Charge, charge, meet them on the fields. <laughs> Did I help? Does this count as helping? I, my people, my guys were on the land. Does that help? <laughs> I don't know if that helps or not. Also, look at them. Peasants, look at these peasants. Oh, wooden walls, eh. Bleh. Look at us over here. Stone walls. Yeah, that's what keeps the enemies out. The castle. <laughs> it's time we discuss the terms of this relationship. I'm going to be requesting gold from time to time as tribute. 
Make sure you have enough on hand when I ask. Um. Right. Okay. Let's make sure. Let's like. Let's like tell her that we're gonna be okay with it, and then when she comes here, we're just gonna kill her. It's not very honorable. <laughs> Honor. <laughs> I'm trying to run a kingdom. I'm not a knight. You can't just tell somebody it's okay and then backstab them. That's that goes against like all the rules of being a good host. You know what? You might have a point, but she wants my money. I want my money. Okay, Lexi, it's for the good of the kingdom. We're keeping it. Your Highness, we've overheard King Arkand and Queen Fetas have made trade agreements. Okay. That's right. I have diplomats. Let's try. Let's use that. Congratulations! Chaotic Burger is now a bustling city. A thriving city has been created through your fine leadership. Yeah, <laughs> what can I say? To be outside in nature, tending the crops. That's where I might be if I weren't ruling the kingdom. Sometimes I wonder if I'm cut out for this. You're not. I can take your spot. Ruling is difficult. It's not for everyone. You're right. That's what my parents said too. <laughs> Clearly, he might need a therapist. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Atalo Hirschfeld has died of old age. You know, I never thought that would happen, but I'm glad it did. Good job, us. We, uh, we did it. Oh, shoot. Vikings? Oh, frick. Oh, we have a little battalion here. I didn't even send them out. Oh, what is that? Uh-oh. I don't think my guys can destroy that. They're just on foot. Do I send them out? Is that just a suicide charge? They'll die for honor, right? That's good enough. Charge them, men! Stab him in the balls. If he has any. Oh, he's destroying everything. Fall back, fall back. Let him get, let him get distracted. Perfect, now stab him. We've lost a few, that's alright. They have another one? That's not fair. <laughs> I wish I had archers. I don't think it could make the target this big. Oh my gosh. Is he gonna two shot that gate? Looked like it. Th we need we need 3D to maneuver gear. There's too many of them. Fall back! No, screw it. We fight. They fight. My men fight. We're gonna, I think we're gonna have to let this this fight just go. No, they just walked through. Okay. Uh, you go recuperate, Sir Terry. Ah, screw. No, they can't. Hold up. No, they can't. They, can they destroy? Can they destroy our keep? Why can't I? Come on, move. Oh, he's gonna suicide charge and die. Okay, well, there he goes. Clearly, we need better defenses. A cemetery caretakers ran out of space in a cemetery. We need more cemetery. Uh, I think we might. Um. We also need some defenses. Oh, he destroyed my tax building. I can't tax people. Society's gonna fall apart. Okay, clearly we need a bigger military now. Okay, okay, that was that was rough. That was very rough. Uh, we'll go give another country, ninety-one. Uh, stone. Sure. Would you be willing to open your? Oh yes, let's do a trade agreement. Sounds amazing. Um, I'm gonna make sure everything's just like meh. I don't want them to like us too much, but I also want them to still trade up in some way. So, yeah. These prices are outrageous. <laughs> okay, we were thinking of you recently. <laughs> we're gonna get married? Oh my gosh! Yo, yes please! Give me all those. Yeah, that includes- Oh, you are- This is what it feels like to be on the opposite side of a romance game. She's romancing us, this isn't good. Let's talk- Let's chat, let's just chat. What happened if the inv- Oh, I did. I didn't think that you were gonna bring up the first- I lost two parts there- What?! That's so unfair. <laughs> Let's talk trade. Lexi, can I simp for her? Are you crazy? It's not advisable to put your whole kingdom in financial ruin because you want to win someone over with gifts rather than just having a normal, organic, progressive relationship. You know what? You're right. My head is calm now. I won't simp. Thanks, Lexi. Okay, Sir Ansel Mouse is back, which is perfect because the gift is ready. So let's go back and talk to our favorite lady of... um. I don't remember her name. Let's see how she responds. I have a gift. A gift for you. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're super generous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's chat. We just had a new apple crop come in. This year's apples are particularly dish delicious. I just love apples. Ooh. It's time to pay tribute to you. No. Never. I don't have that much. No, not yet. Disappointing. Have it ready next time I come. So what if we... I'm just gonna... I might just attack her before... That's... This guy. Queen Stott is... It? Yeah, she has like the smallest... But we could easily take her out. Easily. Probably. So, fun note, I just realized we were being attacked. Um, so, we're bringing the men out. Okay, bow in the field. Charge, men! Hold the line! Push them back! These are our lands! 
Okay, we got the next. Um, it's just this freaking titan that just came through our wall. Rude. And I was just about to build an archery school, too. <laughs> we'll put it right here. Yay. Yes, but first, a feast at our great hall. That sounds wonderful. What's on the menu? Um. Well, she did talk about liking apples, so. Wow, this is my favorite. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm amazing. Anyways, I think this is a good spot to leave things off. There's no wars of the neighboring kingdoms, and we finally have more than two squads of soldiers. And we even have a wall with cannons on it that, although protects only my estate, does protect something. So, <laughs> there's that. And the people are happy, safe, and well fed. Yes, they are. Wait, why are you happy about that? Earlier, you were you went kind of side. Now we can slaughter Queen Stotts, King Arcand, and Queen Fetas. Oh, that's not good. But okay, if you made it this far, Lexi and I would appreciate it if you could like the video and maybe even subscribe. Because if not, Lexi's going to do some unaliving. Oh no, where'd she go? Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You don't have to, but you should. Oh.